Dear Professor Mashimo, how's your latest invention? I just know he's gonna be awesome. Your biggest fan, Tommy Turnbull. Dear Tony, he has surpassed all the expectations, but I fear he may fall into the wrong hands. So I'm sending him somewhere safe, somewhere perhaps he can learn to be a true boy. Robot boy. some manners too, G-Man. No way! I got manners coming out of my ears. Uh, no, that's wax. Mmm, tastes good too. Mom! There's a new nanny in the neighborhood. She supposedly works wonders turning kids into polite, quiet, solid citizens while keeping the house positively spotless. Mrs. Loutfire is exactly who I need. Mrs. Loutfire. I have to warn you, these boys are born troublemakers. Troublemakers are my speciality. Well, you do have some excellent credentials. The Royal Scottish Nanny Academy, the O'Hare School of Discipline and Punishment, Magic College, Magic College? Oh, I you know, card tricks, pulling a coin out of the ear, that sort of thing. The children love it. Mrs. Loutfire, you're hired. I want you to whip those boys into shape. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Turnbull. I'll whip them, all right. Oh, uh, into shape, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> boys, come in here and meet your new nanny. Hello, kids. Ah! Well, look who's here. Nice get up. I almost didn't recognize you for that. <laughs> Mom, that's not <laughs> Mrs. Logfire, I leave them in your strong, confident, uh, quite mannish hands. Oh, let go of my head, fat boy! <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand ape language. <laughs> but be gone, voila! Uh, that hurt you, punk! What do you want, Hex? And why are you dressed like an old, fat Scottish woman? Well, it's the perfect disguise. Parents pay me lots of money to turn their rotten little brats like you into perfect little gentlemen. Or should I say, gentle zombies. <laughs> way to get them to sit through your corny magic act? Maybe if you'd shut up for once, you'd appreciate the fine art of... <laughs> What'd you say? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> missed this! Huh? Ah, yes! Robo boy, help! Hey, Hex, presto, chenzo, you're a labo! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Gus? Nothing to say? Ah, you're not so smart now, are you? My drooling, mindless friend. Yes. How could I forget the little robotic pest? Man in dress, bad. Hurt Gus. You fix Gus, or I hurt you. Oh, really? 
Well, it's laundry day for you. Hey! What is oh. Off you go. Into the dirty clothes. <gasps> oh! Ah! <gasps> oh! Oh! Tommy! Help! Help! Tommy! I'm being held captive by a crazy magician, only now he's a Scottish woman and he turned Gus into a, a zombie and he threw my fighting robot into the laundry. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I wouldn't believe that either. I believe you, Tommy. Huh? No! <laughs> I'll take care of you later, Pipsqueak. First, a little fun with my zombie slave. Yeah! <laughs> such a bore. Oops, I hate mopping even more. Unless, of course, my zombie slave is doing it. And when I clap my hands, you scrub those dirty pants while I dance around and taunt you mercilessly. So nice to get revenge after waiting for so long. After waiting for so long. After waiting for so long. You stupid, family rancid, heckling fool. Yeah. Oh, it's very plain to see that I'm as happy as can be when my zombie slave is cleaning at my feet. Yeah. And when you make mistakes, I will kick you in the face. You stupid, babbling, ugly, heckling fool. some long-distance phone calls. Let's see. Who do I know in Rome? Yeah. Good idea. <coughs> Hello. I'd like to order a pizza delivery. Dinner for 100. Thank you. Okay. okay Let's go. Gus. Hey, come on. Wake up. <coughs> yeah. Hello? Market? Uh, uh, there you two are. Perfect. A zombie. Ha! Missed. Oh, really? Well, I don't think so. Now to take care of you. You know what they say. Two zombie slaves are better than one. <laughs> Who says that? Uh, oh, uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, high. Oh, this is tiresome. Tommy, now come out here and get turned into a zombie like a man. Bad, thank you. Ah, goofy, wait. Never mind. I'll let your friend here take care of you. Ah. Zombie slave, destroy the square-headed child. Last, felonious hex, magician, artist, shall have his revenge. We must have a brain. No! 
Nothing can possibly go wrong now. Hey, who locked the dang door? Was there food in your hair? No! no. Why is there a fat old Scottish woman with hairy hands lying in the front hall? Oh, feather duster. We had one of these when I was a kid. I love the dusty smell and the way it tickles my nose. <laughs> Dad, don't touch it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm home. Wow, this place has never been cleaner. Dwight? I'm sorry, I didn't have time to make you dinner, hun. You're not angry with me, are you? <laughs> I don't know what's got into you, Dwight, but I like it. Who could that be? Oh, oh, sono così stanco. Oh, hey, is somebody here uh, order pizza for a uh, hundred? Pizza? For a hundred?